Princess Margaret, the Countess of Snowdon, was the younger sister of Queen Elizabeth II and the second daughter of King George VI and Queen Elizabeth, later known as the Queen Mother. She was born on August 21, 1930. Was known for her lively personality and glamorous lifestyle. In 1960, she married Anthony Armstrong Jones, who became the first Earl of Snowdon. Following her marriage, she became known as Princess Margaret, the Countess of Snowdon. The couple had two children, David Armstrong Jones, Viscount Linley, and Lady Sarah Chatto. Princess Margaret was known for her sometimes controversial life choices, including her relationships and struggle to balance her personal desires with the expectations of her royal role. She was a prominent figure in British society and often made headlines for her social activities and connections with celebrities. She passed away on February 9, 2002, at the age of 71. Princess Margaret's life and experiences were depicted in various films, documentaries, and biographies, highlighting her unique position within the British royal family. Jewels and Farbage objects from the collection of H.R.H. The Princess Margaret, Countess of Snowdon, consisting of her assortment of jewellery and Farbage artefacts, were auctioned subsequent to her passing in 2002. Rising in an upright, rectangular shape, this piece features a delicate pale mauve enamel that covers the surface with a translucent glow. The enamel rests over a wavy backdrop and encompasses the entirety of the object. It stands on four small ball feet and is adorned with ornate leaf-shaped decorations. The lower part of the body is divided by a decorative mount featuring dot and dash patterns. This lower section showcases laurel spray designs, accented by flower heads adorned with rose diamonds. Positioned both above and below these floral elements is a circular white enamel dial. The dial features black Arabic numerals denoting the hours and is accompanied by finely crafted pierced gold hands. Encircling the dial is a reeded bezel that is elegantly tied with ribbons. The background surrounding the dial is adorned with a radiating enamel pattern. The necklace gained its name, Lady Mount Stephen, in honor of Gianna Tufnell, the second Lady Mount Stephen. George Stephen, a prominent business figure and railway entrepreneur in Montreal and British Columbia, earned distinction in 1891 as the first Canadian to attain peerage. He assumed the title the Baron Mount Stephen of Mount Stephen, British Columbia, and Brockett Hall, Hertfordshire. Following the passing of his first spouse, he wedded Gianna Tufnell, formerly a lady-in-waiting to Princess Mary Adelaide, Duchess of Teck, Her Majesty Queen Mary's mother. Gianna, a lifelong companion and confidant of Queen Mary, received a letter from the latter, then the Duchess of York, on October 13, 1897. Expressing astonishment at Gianna's engagement to Lord Mount Stephen during her parents' stay at Brockett. Queen Mary anticipated meeting her at White Lodge on the 23rd to convey personal well wishes, Lord and Lady Mount Stephen frequently hosted Queen Mary at Brockett Hall. Following Lady Mount Stephen's passing in 1933, she left Queen Mary an exquisite diamond riviere in her will. Undoubtedly, the Riviere ranked among Princess Margaret's most cherished jewels. Notably, it was the necklace she paired with the diamond earrings and the Poltimore tiara for significant and formal events. The Poltimore tiara, created around 1870, features a graduated arrangement of diamond clusters in cushion and old cut shapes. These clusters alternate with scroll motifs also adorned with diamonds and each is topped by old-cut diamond terminals. The tiara is further enhanced by a line of collet-set diamonds. It was crafted using silver and gold. This exquisite piece was designed by Gerard for Lady Poltimore, 
the spouse of the second Baron Poltimore, who served as the treasurer to Queen Victoria's household from 1872 to 1874. Notably, this tiara is versatile and can be transformed into a necklace and 11 individual brooches. The conversion is facilitated by screwdriver and brooch fittings. Lady Poltimore's grandson, the fourth Baron Poltimore, presented the tiara for auction in 1959. Princess Margaret, who was to wed Anthony Armstrong Jones, later known as the Earl of Snowdon, the subsequent year, swiftly purchased it for a modest sum of £5,500. The tiara, a fully enclosed circlet in reality, adorned her on her wedding day. A ruby and diamond ring, the three oval rubies between baguette cut diamond shoulders and brilliant cut diamond edge detail. Princess Margaret personally designed this ring from three rubies chosen from her personal collection that were given to her by Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth the Queen Mother. An Art Deco Pearl and Diamond Necklace, comprising five graduated rows of pearls to the Varicut Bon Plat clasp, mounted in platinum, circa 1925, in fitted green leather Osprey Company case, the lid embossed with Her Royal Highness the Princess Margaret's, M, monogram beneath a coronet. Given by Her Majesty Queen Mary to her granddaughter, Her Royal Highness the Princess Margaret for her 18th birthday. A brooch featuring the monogram M for Her Royal Highness the Princess Margaret adorned with a coronet and embellished with individual and round-cut diamonds. The brooch is presented in its authentic, fitted blue leather case from Collingwood, with the lid of the case displaying an embossed gold M monogram under a coronet, along with the date the 21st of August, 51. A Cartier brooch featuring a rose made of diamonds is presented in three dimensions, with a fully blossomed paveset rose accompanied by openwork leaves and stem adorned with baguette, single-cut, and circular-cut diamonds. The brooch comes in a red leather Cartier case. The brooch was worn by Her Royal Highness Princess Margaret during the coronation of her sister, Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II, which took place on June 2, 1953, at Westminster Abbey. A collection of antique cut diamond clusters is positioned above, supporting a link of diamond studded leaves and a drop shaped cluster of pear cut diamonds. These elements are set in a combination of silver and gold. Alongside the Poltimore tiara and Queen Mary's diamond revere, these earrings were a frequent choice for adornment by Princess Margaret during her significant ceremonial and formal events. The earrings made their public debut on March 1, 1960, when the princess, recently engaged, and Mr. Anthony Armstrong Jones, joined Queen Elizabeth the Queen Mother for an elegant ballet performance at the Royal Opera House in London. Ruby and Diamond Flower Brooch, by Cartier, the oval ruby stamen and leaf decoration are connected to the curved openwork petals and stem, adorned with old and single-cut diamonds. As per information from Cartier Geneva, this brooch, crafted by Cartier London in 1948, was initially created as a clip brooch but was later transformed into a pin-fitting brooch. This transformation accounts for the lack of a signature, which would have originally been located on the top of the clip. Crafted in the shape of an openwork oval panel adorned with aquamarines featuring circular cuts, leading to hexagonal aquamarine and circular-cut diamond scroll-adorned shoulders, all held within a platinum setting. On January 23, 1947, Queen Elizabeth the Queen Mother acquired this brooch from Cartier for a sum of £175. A detachable topaz and diamond drop dangles from a central oval pink topaz, framed by a scroll border of cushion-shaped diamonds. This elegant piece is set in a combination of silver and gold. In 1901, 
The Princess of Wales, who later became Queen Mary, acquired this brooch. 